Hey, how you doing today? I am Tequila Coleman. In today's video, I'm going to answer um, the questions that were posted over on our community tab. Now, before I answer this question, do not go over to that community tab and try to look for this post because um, I already comment, don't post any more questions. Um, I have a lot of questions I have to answer. So any questions submitted, you know, after today, June the 16th will not be answered, okay? I'm letting you know this ahead of time. But here's the question. What does God do to the counterfeit who refuses to remove themselves and in retaliation continues their witchcraft to hold on to a man or woman that is leaving them permanently to get back in alignment with their God or their spouse? Okay, so thank you for your question. So here's the thing. Number one, God isn't going to do your part, okay? So make sure that you are on your post daily. If you know this counterfeit is doing witchcraft to keep your God-ordained spouse, you must stay on your post every single day. You must stay on your post even when your God-ordained prodigal spouse upsets you or disappoints you. You still got to stay on that post because, number one, God is going to use you as the God ordained believing spouse to cover what this counterfeit is sending towards your prodigal spouse. That's number one. And then number two, as you are praying, your prayers will help the witchcraft attacks, the spells, the rituals, whatever the counterfeit is throwing your spouse's way. It's going to, your prayers are going to help for these things to wear off. Okay. It's going to help um, your spouse to begin to like break free because you're, you are praying against what the enemy is trying to put on your spouse, okay? So it's not going to take effect um, in immediately, like in the beginning, it will. But as you get on your post and you start praying, rebuking, binding, cancel these attacks of the enemy, because they're going to, they have to continue to do this. They have to continue to put spells on your spouse. They got to continue with their ritual. So as long as you are keeping your spouse covered every single day in prayer, it's not going to take place, okay? Now, to answer your question, what does God do to the counterfeit who refuses to remo remove themselves? Well, it's going to come a point in time where your spouse, his or her eyes are going to open. Okay? It's going to be open to this counterfeit. They're going to see the very thing that they chose. They're going to see the very thing they heart fell for. Okay? And they're going to, you know, this is God removing the scales off of your prodigal spouse's um, eyes. This is when the witchcraft began to wear off. Now your prodigal is able to see. Now they are able to understand, okay, like who they chose when they were in this prodigal state of being. So uh, in this case, the part God is going to do, God is going to protect, you know, he's going to block the enemy's attempt according to your prayers, okay? But also God is going to remove those scales and allow your prodigal to see exactly what they keep choosing, Right. And he's going to leave it up to your prodigal to decide if they want, you know, continue on in this counterfeit relationship or not. And I'm and I'm just speaking from um, experience here. But when your prodigal begin to wake up and when your prodigal really begin to see, um, you know, who they you know put themselves in a relationship with and as your prodigal begin to grow. As they begin to, as God begin to move your prodigal into a level of healing, okay, they're not going to that 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 attraction they once had for this this counterfeit is going to begin to fade away because your prodigal is now growing. This is why I put a lot of emphasis on, you know, uh, holding your uh, spouse accountable. You know, they need to grow. They gotta, you know, move into healing. They need to grow in character, grow in identity because counterfeits are going to stay the same. Counterfeit, not all, but some of them, they don't believe in doing that inner healing work. They don't, they, they're not walking with God, not all of them, right? So they stay the same, okay? But if, if you can partner with God in prayer and help push your prodigal, you know, into inner healing, deliverance, into, you know, like praying God, reveal to my prodigal spouse their identity in Christ, reveal their purpose to them, 
grow my prodigal in greater character, right? You begin to quote those scriptures over your prodigal. You know, my prodigal uh, husband is a faithful man. He's a loving husband, right? You begin to, you know, take the word of God and speak it over your prodigal. He has no other choice but to grow. And this the same thing works with women as well, okay? Um, because the word of God cannot return back to God void. It must go out and accomplish the very reason why you are sending it out, okay? So as your prodigal begins to grow, the scales are going to come off their eyes. They're going to become aware of, you know, how this counterfeit is keeping a hold on them. And they're going to begin, you know, they're going to eventually break away from this counterfeit, okay? It's going to take a little time, okay? Um, you're going to need patience on your part because we're dealing with witchcraft, okay? But just have faith in knowing that this witchcraft attack, you know, it will come to an end. And, you know, just as scriptures say, what God has joined together, let no man, you know, uh, separate. That also applies with let no witchcraft separate it. So God is going to be fighting on your behalf as well, but you got to stay on that. You got to stay on your prayer post, okay? You have to make sure you pray every single day helping your spouse, because when they are a prodigal, they up under a reprobate mind. If your prodigal not walking with God, they're not going to know what to look for. They're not going to, they probably don't even know anything about love spell, separation spell. They don't know how the enemy put things in their food to bind them to that counterfeit. They don't know these things, right? Or how the counterfeit could put things in um, your prodigal spouse's clothes, you know, or get them jewelry to wear that keep them bound to that counterfeit. They don't know these things, right? So this is why God is sending you in, have you on your prayer post, praying over your uh, God or dang spouse, okay? Blocking the enemy's attack, all right? So that is my advice. That is my recommendation. If you have any more questions, feel free to head over to GodOrDangMarriages.com, click on the tab that says coaching, and book a one-on-one session with myself today. I am Tequila Coleman. I'll talk to you real soon. Take care.